Hello everyone, welcome back to Petroy Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix no service available issue on your iPhone 14, 14 Pro, 14 Plus and 14 Pro Max and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are having an issue with no service issue, the first step is all about you have to start with a flight mode. You have to turn on the flight mode and you have to turn it off. For this, just go over here in the notification over here at the top. We will be having this particular icon. Just tap on this. So the flight mode is turned on. You have to wait hardly, let me say, for three to five minutes or you can try with at least two minutes approximately. Once after that, you have to turn this off. Once you turn this off, you have to check whether the issue is solved or not. Most probably for most of the cases, this might work for you. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one. Next one is nothing but we have to do is we just need to activate a data roaming. Sometimes, you know, turning off the data roaming can be one of the reason. So we have to activate it. So just go over here in the settings. Now from here, we have to go to mobile data. Now from here, we have to go to mobile data options. And there is an option called data roaming. So you have to turn this on. If it is turned on, you have to turn this off. After turning on this, you have to set check whether the issue is solved or not. Still you are having the issue, we can try with the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to set the date and time correct. So just go over here in the settings. Now from here we have to go to the general. Now from here we go to the date and time. And here we have to set this up. The time should be turned on and the time zone should be selected as well. And you have to cross check this. So once the date set automatically should be turned on, the time zone should be selected. After this most probably, you have to go back and see whether the issue is solved or not. Still the issue is not serving and if you are having the issue, the next one is all about you have to cross check whether you are having any kind of update. So just go over here in the settings. Now from here we have to go over here to the general. Now go to the software update and we have to cross check. If you are getting any kind of updates like this, if any pending updates are there, you just need to download this particular update and you have to install it. So that is what you have to do. So because, uh, you know, sometimes you know, update it to the latest version because the previous versions might be having a lot of bugs, which is causing the issue up. So you have to update to the latest version. And once after that, you're done with this one to the updating the latest version, you have to cross check. Even after trying with this, all these things, still the issue is not present. You can try two very important steps, which work in for many of the users. And one among them is all about, you have to do a reset network settings. So tap over here in the... Now scroll down and navigate to general. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to transfer a reset iPhone. Go to the reset over here. And there is an option called reset network settings. So just go for this one. Give the passcode and do a complete reset on the network settings. After you're done with a complete reset on the network settings, still the issue is persisting. We can try with the final step, which is called force restart your iPhone. To do a force restart, you have to press volume up Followed by volume down, you have to press and hold the power button unless and until you see the Apple logo. So let me do this. Press volume up, followed by volume down. You have to press volume up. You have to press power button unless and until you see the Apple logo. You have to keep on pressing. So you'll be able to see the Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo, you're fine with this. You just need to wait afterwards so that it will be completely loaded up. So right now you can see the Apple logo over here. So the res uh, force restart is not only a fix for this one because it's actually a fix for every minor issues which you face start facing on your iPhone. In all the series, you can try this out. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Once your iPhone completely get loaded up, you can try with the service issue is still there or not. Most probably the issue will be completely fixed afterwards. So right now you have to go over here, go to the passcode over here. You can give all the details and most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed and this is what you have to do. So these are the possible workarounds that can be done when you're having an issue with iPhone 14, 14 Pro Max is not having no service available error, which is happening for many of the users right now very recently and how you can fix this app. And you hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.